Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I know that you're upset. I certainly am too, and I wanted to talk about it today. Uh, obviously, on Monday, uh, we had a data breach um, with the Department of Justice uh, portal. Uh, a lot of people's information has been uh, copied and downloaded online. Uh, we still don't know just how far this may have spread, but with the internet, um, it's it's pretty pretty easy to expect that it spread pretty far. While we've got the attorneys still working on uh, what can be done potentially with a lawsuit, I thought it would be a good idea to actually go through the timeline um, and really look at some of the things that Attorney General Bonta uh, has actually come out and said because. Uh, it's almost one of those things when you take the second look, things become pretty clear that there was probably some intent behind this. So uh, uh, all of these references are available on the CRPA website. Uh, just looking at this one, the timeline here we got on June 27th, um, the attorney general came out and said that he was going to be releasing uh, more information via the Department of Justice dashboard portal. Uh, with the data live immediately following that announcement. And basically what he said is that this was meant to increase transparency uh, and to increase public trust. Uh, well, I, I think one of those statements is true. Uh, he really increased transparency uh, in a way that violated a lot of people's rights. Uh, so I, I guess you can say that that is true, but uh, how are you feeling on the other end of this here? Uh, did this increase public trust? I think it's fair to ask these questions because we continue to see politicians uh, or elected officials, legislators, whatever you want to call them, uh, come out and say things with really the opposite intent in mind. Uh, you know, so can you really ask yourself that question? Did this increase public trust? Um, we'll get back to that in a second. So uh, following that, obviously, uh, people started downloading this content immediately. Uh, you can ask yourself again, uh, if, if this information was not meant to be downloaded, why was there a download button? But there was a download button. It was in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, I think that that was happening for well over 12 hours uh, until the website was just straight up taken down uh, on the 28th. Now, the Department of Justice came out to some of our sheriff's departments and told them that uh, the information was taken from the platform. It actually wasn't. What they did was just removed the download icon from the website, even though the, the information was still downloadable. So after that announcement went out, there was still a lot of people downloading this content, uh, which, again, going back to public trust, I, I, I don't think so. So, I mean, that's sort of the timeline here. There's been a lot of assessment after the fact. Um, so... I, I think it's worth asking while we continue to look at ways that we can fight back against this. Uh, what was the actual premise here? Uh, you know, so we have all of these things that have happened, but Rob Bonta came out and made a statement the day that this went live. Let's take a look at what he said. So, and, and this is the direct quote. Transparency is key to increasing public trust between law enforcement and the communities we serve. Ask the question, did that happen? I mean, <laughs> I, uh, I, I got to yell in my office for about 20 minutes on this, so I, I, I'm trying not so much to yell here, but did that happen? Was our government successful in increasing public trust? I think we've got a failure here. Let's read more. As news of tragic mass shootings continue to dominate the news cycle, leaving many with feelings of fear and uncertainty. Okay, so it's starting to come out. We must do everything we can to prevent gun violence. One of the continued priorities is to better provide information needed to help advance efforts that strengthen Californians' common sense gun law. Bang. Here we are again. I, I made a video about this a few days ago. These people do not know how to legislate without a crisis. Okay, I mean, really, take a look at this sentence. What is he actually saying? As news of tragic mass shootings continue to dominate the news cycle. That's exactly what they're doing. They're dominating the news cycle. They're not dominating our world. But he needs to make everybody think that they are. And he's got the help of mainstream media doing it. We've seen a lot of correlation 
with calls for legislative action uh, coinciding with a lot of news stories. The fact of the matter is the, the, this news of tragic mass shootings is just that. It's news. It's from the news. It's not actual news. But this is how they get people on board with legislation. And I mean, really, every time somebody says common sense gun laws, uh, what it should be uh, replaced with is tyrannical gun laws, because that's what they actually mean. Uh, today's announcement uh, puts power and information into the hands of our communities by helping them better understand the role and potential dangers of firearms within our state. Does that sound something? Does that sound like somebody who's unbiased to you? What is he saying? Firearms are dangerous. You know, the last time I checked, uh, this country was was founded on the premise that we had God given rights. And part of those God given rights uh, was to be able to protect ourselves, namely the Second Amendment, naming firearms as one of those things. Do they ever talk about the statistics on how firearms are a good thing? Do they ever talk about how, uh, you know, it is purported to have between 800,000 and 2 million defensive handgun uses? in the nation per year that's stopping crime do they ever talk about that no what they want to talk about is how we can better understand the potential dangers of firearms within our state so if you really want to talk about dangers why don't you talk about the dangers of this mishap and again i'll use the air quotes on mishap uh, because uh, this is probably not a mishap when is this actually happening this is happening a week after the Supreme Court came down and said that we needed to redefine how we view Second Amendment cases. Why? Because America. I already said that. Because the people have rights. And what is happening here? Citizens are scared. They don't want to be on these lists. They are, but they don't want to be. But here we have a state government, and actions always speak louder than words. So Rob Bonta can look you in the face and tell you this was an accident, but the actions don't necessarily point that way. The way that the actions point is that the government is trying to scare people from purchasing firearms. Plain and simple. Here, here's a case that expands the rights for people to carry firearms in public. So how can we respond to that if we don't want people carrying firearms in public? Well, let's release all of their information online. That way, people who haven't already done this are now scared to do it. That way, people who have already done it might not be doing it again. Plain and simple. But let's let's go back. I mean, what what potential dangers actually are there? What about the what about the the girlfriend who was being violently abused uh, by her partner who had to move and told herself, you know what? I'm going to I'm not going to allow this to happen to myself again. I'm going to purchase a firearm. I'm going to get training with that firearm so that I am never in a situation where I can be abused again. What about that person? Because now the the person that they moved away from now has access to her address. What about the judges? What about the judges who Put people in prison, violent criminals in prison. You think that uh, you could develop a personal vendetta on something like that? Sure. That's the reason why a lot of judges have CCWs. Now their home addresses are online. So if you want to talk about the potential uh, dangers of firearms, why don't we talk about the, poten the potential dangers of a tyrannical government? Because we're seeing them live right now. But just for giggles, let's see what they were actually going to put on that website. So they're putting data for dealer records of sales, gun violence restraining orders, concealed carry weapons permits, firearm safety certificates, assault weapons, and a roster of certified handguns. Who is going to read statistics on those things and feel more or less safe after they, after they read them? N nobody. This is propaganda. This is give me, well, this is allow me to give you my statistics that we see so often being doctored so that I can convince you 
to elect me next term. Or I can convince you to not throw a tantrum when I take your rights away with more gun laws. And you know what? The, the proof is right here. Let's look at the next paragraph. The research supports this strategy. Th this is talking about GVROs. The research supports this strategy. I want you to think about that statement. This year, University of California Davis published a report indicating that GVROs prevented approximately 58 mass shootings in California between 2016 and 2018. Now, if you're having a conversation with me in private and you tell me that you prevented 58 mass shootings, you could call me facetious, but I would look at you and say, well, I picked up a banana peel off the ground the other day, so I prevented somebody from slipping, breaking their neck. Then you kind of look back at me and say, well, really? I mean, that, that's kind of what I'm saying here is really? How do you know that you prevented 58 mass shootings by taking people's guns? The only thing that you can actually state here is that you took people's guns away. And what is that, uh, what, it, what is that Captain America quote from uh, Civil War? Everybody who's tried to end a war before it starts, there are always innocent or there are always uh, uh, innocent people die every time. Kind of the same thing. Uh, you're, you're, you're starting a war here before a crime happens. There is no way that people's rights aren't being violated. However, I want, I just, we need to help people understand Rob Bonta doesn't expect us to read. Rob Bonta expects us to see this and says, that says the, the research supports the strategy. He gives you the title of the university. He links a report. He links an article so that prevented approximately 58 mass shootings is in blue. That means you know it goes somewhere. He's expecting you not to read it. So let's read it. And oh my goodness. So what this links you to is a Miami Herald article. And you don't even have to get five paragraphs into the article to read this. While researchers can't know if any of the threatened mass shootings would have been carried out, this data are a testament still to red flag laws effectiveness. Is that arrogance? I, I would say, yeah. Rob Bonta and the Attorney General's office is so arrogant to think that they can link an article disproving what they're saying <laughs> to, to, to their memorandum to the people. What does he say in that statement? He says that the data supports this, uh, these red flag laws. Then he links an article saying that you can't know. I think uh, the, the more and more obvious that this becomes is that uh, Attorney General Rob Bonta should be held accountable for his, uh, for his mistakes. I think his entire office should be held accountable for his mistakes. It's time to remove him from office, folks. Like, plain and simple. We cannot allow these people to threaten our lives. And that is exactly what he has done. He may not be the person to, that, that pushed the button but he should be responsible for his office. If you go to the CRPA website right now, you can sign a petition to, uh, to demand the resignation of uh, Attorney General Rob Bonta. Please go and visit the website. Like I said earlier, all of these sources are also available on our website via the docs uh, landing page. Give that a look. We will continue to update it there. It is time to hold these people accountable. So make sure and visit the website. Make sure and sign it. Let's get this joker out of office.